you know what? I'm going to pee real quick and then we'll start. All right. Do your thing, man. Because I just got the twitch and I'm like, mm, if I wait, it's going to get bad. <laughs> you know what? Let's both do it. I'll go too because we're old men. And, you know. All right. Think about me while you're doing it. <laughs> oh, that, that'll, that'll get hard. Never mind. Bye. Every once in a while, it feels like, oh, no, I'm too close, too far, something. No, you're good. All right. Uh, we are already, I just realized we've been recording audio this whole fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Not video, though, so. Now we're recording video. All right. Great. Oh, thank God you start this one. Oh, yeah, I do, right? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I'm, uh, this is good. This is good. My house is nice and quiet today. Mine too, but that's because Devin's in school and my in-laws decided to go back to Florida. <laughs> nice. So mm. today's a today's a day 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 recording, so I have a a coffee instead of a alcoholic beverage. Well, that's good. But, uh, yeah. but I have two Coke shots. <laughs> I have two shots of uh, espresso in here, so eh. I'm either gonna be hyped up or shitting my pants at the end of this. I would say you're not you're not gonna impress me with your coffee choices, buddy. All right, why not? It's espresso, whatever. I, it's not espresso. It's coffee I with used, espresso in it. All I right. used to I used to work at Starbucks, and I used to tell them just just mess my life up. Just yeah, make me. A I went to the mess. Barnes and Noble with a Starbucks, and the girl who worked in the in the Starbucks was like, "What can I get you?" I'm like, mm. <laughs> "Yeah, mm. <laughs> I guess a coffee." Yeah. <laughs> but I also For don't now. ever want to sleep. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready when you're ready. All right, here we go. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike and Dave. Hit the stage. I am Mike. I am Dave. I don't know why I said <laughs> good afternoon. I don't I know no why idea. either. It is 9.50 in the morning. 9.51 a.m. <laughs> this is an early one. Uh Dave and I are both off. Well, no, Dave goes to work later. I am off of yeah. work today. So we decided to uh, do a morning one and uh, get ahead of ourselves, which is the first time in a long time. Yes, we have been trailing and I have been rapid fire editing as we go. Yeah. So this one, it'll be nice to actually time. get some time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't even do the artwork for this one yet. Um, so, yeah, we both got a little time. Uh, this episode is terrible one hit wonders yes uh, and some and of these are, are not so terrible in my eyes <laughs> they're all fucking terrible i picked a fucking couple dig zingers just for you i picked a couple of zingers just for you yeah you definitely did um but overall an enjoyable list a come on mm, so in some cases some of it uh, and before we started recording, you definitely said, I didn't have to listen to this list because I know every I, song. I know every fucking song beginning to end. Yes. I've heard the same here. I've heard them each at least. I'll, I'll be conservative. 10,000 times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10,000. And I know you didn't. I don't think you did. But uh, back in the day, I used to go to the bars where they had uh, cover bands uh, in between the music. And I would say just about all of these have been covered by cover bands in the in the clubs I've gone to. If I ever heard one of these covered, I might leave. Really? I like I seeing... Just, go ahead. I just can't imagine wanting to hear... I don't want to hear the original half the time, let alone right. a cover. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I think it was more the atmosphere. You know, you went there, you drank, it was all your friends, and, uh, you know... I'm not laughing at you. I just saw Fight. something for the first time that I did not notice before, and we'll get to it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Is it in, is it in the list? It's in the list. It's not a okay. song. I, it's just something I noticed. Don't worry. I, I, I noticed something, too, and it might be the same thing. <laughs> I was is it the last the... song, the album yes. title? <laughs> <laughs> it's it fucking is, terrible. I, 
I didn't notice that either until today when I put the list up before you popped on and I'm reading through because, you know, I, I, I'm i sure we both do this. I like to glance before we get on my, my new ritual. Now that we do it this way is it, I always jump on and then I tell you, OK, I'm on. Yeah. And uh, and I play the list as I wait for you to come on. And uh, then I peruse the list and I, you know, I just kind of try to guess. Them. And I did that before you got on today. And I looked, and I went, really, bro? We'll get to it. Don't worry. I have comments now. <laughs> oh, really, bro? Terrible. All right. So uh, this list starts off with you. Uh, yes. And it's a fucking humdinger, buddy. <laughs> you said one hit wonders. And this is what I thought of. Okay. Immediately. This is... Uh, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna be. It's the 500 miles song by the Proclaimers off of their album Sunshine on Life. Leith. Leith. Leith? What the fuck's yeah. a Leith? Is it a planet? I think it's a place. Oh, okay. <sighs> Hang on, Dick Beaters away. Oh no, here we go. But uh, yes, so this was from a movie, I believe. Isn't this from Benny and June? Yes. Also. Leith is a port area in nor uh, north of Edinburgh, Scotland. So, yeah, oh, if right. you didn't know, these guys are Scottish as fuck. Yeah, they don't. A lot of these guys, when they sing, they lose their accent. These guys did not. Um, yeah, so this is from Benny and June. Uh, this also uh, is a song that I used to uh, at those bars and stuff like that. I used to sing this to Mary Jane when we first met, which. By the way, we were speaking to each other, uh, speaking to each other. We were talking yesterday uh, after we did the recording yesterday, Mary Jane and I. And uh, in three days from the day of this recording on uh, on uh, May 9th, uh, we met, we we started, I guess that would be our dating, uh, starting dating time in mm -hmm. 2003. So we have technically been together for 21 years. and. Uh, I well, made, that's very sweet. And I, yeah, and I made. I'm trying uh, not to be a dick about it. No, well, I looked at her and I was like, "Holy shit!" I was like, "You had a look at this for 21 years already?" I said, "Back then, I was pretty handsome. I think I was in my 20s. I was young. Yeah, I was like, you you gotta watch this get old." <laughs> what are you? What are you beating your dick over there for? What are you doing? Oh yeah, I'm checking shit. Oh, all right. Because there's a line in here. I didn't know what it meant. And now I know what it means. Cocknuts. Uh, there is... Oh, I gotta pull it up again. Uh, it's in the first verse. And if I haver, I know I'm gonna be the man who's havering to you. I... you I, Okay. No, no, no idea what havering is, right? Exactly. No. So, yeah, I it's to talk foolishly or waste time. Oh, all right. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. All right. Listen, the song's catchy as fuck. That's the reason it exists. But right. also, it's the reason that it still exists in our in our world all these years later. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a long time, and that song's still going strong. Right. Like if you if you play it, anyone around our age is going to know almost every word to it. A hundred percent. Except and for Benny the and June part. was a garbage movie. Well, I don't even think I've ever seen Benny and June. Can can I can I give you a quick synopsis? Sure. Johnny Depp okay. plays a weirdo. Right. Stocking. And a and there's a girl. Right. And isn't isn't what's his name in it too? Am I oh I'm no I'm thinking I'm thinking about Gilbert Grape, I think. I, I thought it was uh I thought it was uh Leonardo DiCaprio being half a half an R. Uh you you know what the irony is? You're not a hundred percent off because the girl that he's in love with is, I believe, mentally disabled. In, wait, in which movie? I'm all in Benny and June. Now. In Benny oh, and June. <laughs> No, yeah. she's not. I don't know. Okay. Hang on. I'm oh, going to pull boy. this to the middle so I'm still looking at you. Okay. Hang on. Roughly. <laughs> Can't type. That's the other problem. And Oh, look. Now, yeah. you're, now you're way too close to the camera. You're big. Yeah, I know. Well. I'm just fucking. I have a giant know... fucking skull. Now that you told me this stuff bothers you, <laughs> you're too close. You're too far. Uh, Benny, Aiden Quinn, yeah. who cares for his mentally disturbed sister, June, <laughs> also oh, welcomes an ex uh, the eccentric Sam into his home at June's request. Their brother and sister? No, Aiden Quinn is, uh, is Benny. It's, it's, this so is, 
a I happier don't... version of riding the bus with my sister. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Oh that God. sounds like a porno oh to me. God. You don't know what riding the bus with my sister is. No. Uh, in the 90s, the late 90s, uh, Rosie oh, O'Donnell a made a movie. I, I was about to add, I was going to say Ricky. Where Ray. she was mentally disabled and she went, you know, they I say remember. you never go full retard. I, I Listen to me. <laughs> I remember this only because I think Anthony made fun of it on ONA. I was listening to it the other day. <laughs> but this is this is the opposite of that where she's just mentally disturbed not mm -hmm. mentally disabled oh okay yeah so just crazy it's, it's another terrible yeah she's 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 a fucking psycho yeah all right Get up there yeah so yeah that's fucking proclaimers <laughs> whatever <laughs> all right songs the oh. song's good it could be better It'd only be better if, you know. It'd be better if it was heavy metal. What do you want to do? No. Maybe if they were speaking, you know, normal English and not Scottish English, which is barely a language. Normal English. All right. Normal English. I'll tell you, I, I will listen to a Hispanic accent, a Middle Eastern accent all day. Scottish people need to learn how to fucking talk. <laughs> I like to listen to them because I it, it's, it's hard to understand and they still it's still speaking puzzle. English. It's, it's crazy. It's a fucking puzzle. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's talk about the next one. All right, so my next one is Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> yeah, Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> Butterfly by Crazy Town off of oh, God. The Gift of Game, which uh, this is the song that uh, made me make this list. Uh, it is terrible. It came on like uh, Octane or something, one, one of the serious channels, you know, music channels. And I went, oh my, it shot me back to, again, going to those clubs and in between the bands, it would they would play this song. You heard a cover of this? No, um, I probably have, sure. But also I remember they would play it in sometimes between, at in crazy songs. At Crazy Moose on Bell Boulevard. Um uh, and yeah, back I then I would is. go there like every Friday. Uh and uh it if you don't know who 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 Crazy Town is, um they it, it's mostly just a lead singer. His name is Shifty. <laughs> and uh is he still alive yes he is uh he became well no he became he probably was back then but i think he was a huge uh a meth and heroin guy and he looks terrible oh he's awful he looks yeah he looks like every new york city crackhead yeah uh, he looks like I, you know, we, every year we go to Florida to visit my family, and there are people on the side of the road. Recently, it, Florida was never like this. So as much as they say that Florida is, you know, not where we go. Uh, um, not where we go. Recently, we've been going, and and the people that are on the street now are. I'm I'm sorry. I need to say rough to say the least. God. You know, Shifty's not his full name. What do you mean? Oh my God! Hang on. Is... Uh, hang on. Shifty right, shell shock. His shell shock. Yeah, because yeah. he would be, he was in Vietnam. I could tell. Are you ready for his real name? Oh no! Is, is it as bad as Vanilla Ice, like Robert Van Winkle or something like that? Seth Binzer. All right, that's not terrible. <laughs> I mean, it is, you know. Oh, man, the, the photo section of Google Images is yeah. not good. And he's still alive. You're sure of that? Hang on. Double checking. <laughs> 49, uh, 49 years old, August 23rd, 1974. He's that still alive. Is, well, that guy's only a couple years older than me, huh? Yeah. Two years older. Oof, uh, yeah. And uh, cra uh, meth got him. Yeah. Yeah. He looks terrible. He does. Uh, and I don't think they never. They were part of that rap rock thing yep. that happened, and I mean, this song got pretty big, but I don't, I don't remember anything else that they did. If they did anything else, um, and did that? No, I okay. I no it's idea. so bad. Um, my friend Louis, who we've talked about tons of times. Uh, Louis was in a band that played a show with Crazy Town, and okay, he was talking to Shifty. Oh, God, I hate that name. And Shifty said, "Yo, I'll be right back." 
Go ahead. He, he said, yo, I'll be right back. He got in the van and he could see him through the windows hitting a crack pipe. Oof. Yo, I'll be right back. <laughs> at least go into a tinted window, at least. It, I think it was tinted, order. but you know, there's some stuff you can't even hide through tints. Yeah, like, like hitting the glass dick. <laughs> the old glass cock. <laughs> Fuck. And then yeah. we've we've seen the video of him literally doing that song in like a guitar center. Yes, that was really Yeah, he has this the sound of a crackhead as well. Oh. And he also, oh, yeah. if I remember correctly, he was on the Flavor of Love. Uh I think I don't think it was Flavor. It was probably like Celebrity Rehab. Oh, maybe it was. Either way, I think he got kicked off. Yeah. Maybe it was Celebrity Rehab, now that I think of it. Although, the people who were on Flavor of Love were not much better. Yep. Let's see. <laughs> Shifty MTV, I guess. Uh, uh, no, celebrity no. Rehab, he graduated out of that. Oh, did he? Yeah, he but that, it stuck. Of course, the article I found, uh, Shifty Shellshock, Crazy Town Frontman, and Celebrity Rehab graduate out of coma. <laughs> Why are we laughing? Former right. singer of Los Angeles-based rap rock group remains in intensive care in local hospital. This is 2012. He made it. He survived. <laughs> he's still alive. I thought he was dead. No, he's still alive. Yeah. Reportedly regained consciousness. It's TMZ, basically. Hey. What yeah, he was, TMZ's a, a reputable source now. Oh, he was in two different shows. He was in Celebrity uh, Rehab 2008-2009, two, right. and he was in Sober House 2009-2010. Oh, okay. Oh, so he graduated to the Sober House. Yes. All right. Uh, not fully aware of his surroundings. My brain just, I just, just looking at this makes my head hurt. I can't believe how many times you actually had to say shifty shell shock. Shifty shell shock. Feel, it's actually not I just that hard said to that, say. I just said that and, and, and embarrassed myself. <laughs> See, it feels like I just shitty. said it and was like, I felt the heat in my body. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Who fucking, like, and oh. he had to go by that name. Ugh, he doesn't have to. His name is Seth. Yeah, yeah, there's another yeah. guy on this band on this list who I make fun of for having to change his name for no fucking reason. Uh, second to last. Oh, I don't even. Okay, yeah, I don't okay, even we'll know that there. one. Yeah, we'll get yeah, there. We'll get there. All right, so let's, let's move to on to one. your next one. Let's get <laughs> let's give Shifty Shellshock a a fucking a back seat, and we're gonna move on to your next one because I never saw this one coming. You didn't <laughs> think of this. Never saw this. Oh, I never saw this you, one coming by you. Really? Yeah. I think sh okay. if I think shitty one hit wonders, this is what I think of. All right. So this is it's Mambo number five uh, by, Lou, by Lou Bega. Lou Bega. <laughs> and as if it wasn't enough that he knew that this was going to be a one hit wonder, the yeah. album is a little bit of Mambo. <laughs> he knew. He knew what was going to happen. This right. song is so instantly recognizable from the beginning, which is yeah, that, not musical. That terrible Casio. Yes. Whatever the fuck it is. It's terrible, but yeah. it exists and yeah. it's immediately recognizable. Right. And it's and for anybody, awful. for anybody who doesn't know, this is the one that goes a little bit of Monica, blah, 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 a little bit of so-and-so, blah, blah. I don't know. The fucking 18 girls names. White girl names, you know. Hang on, that, uh, I need I need to see the lyrics just because I need to know how many how many of these girls I fucked. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> what happened? Wait. One, <sighs> two, three, four, five. Oh, you're singing the song. Five out of, five out of seven, baby. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I've never had a Rita and I've never had a Sandra. <laughs> All the other, I got a Monica, Erica, Tina, a Mary, and a Jessica. Wait, oh wait, just want to make sure they're diff they're not different on the next the next one. No, they're all the same. It's just those just those names. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, You're seven. The song again. So five out of five out of seven. <sighs> all right, Fat Boy put up some numbers. <laughs> okay, hey, good for you. <laughs> Good for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Probably wasn't good for them. Probably not. A lot of faking it. <laughs> oh, geez. So, yeah, this is, uh, yeah. I don't even know what to say. 
<laughs> I don't know anything like, about Lou Bega. I have no idea who he is. Oh, wait, he there's some other names in here. I didn't notice oh, it first. All right, here we go. Okay, there's another one. Angela. <laughs> no Pamela's. Let's see. Too, too many names. That's the problem. It has all the names. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, all yeah. Right. Out of like 12 names, I got like six. All right. It's a bit 50 50. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> mm, I had a busy 20s and early 30s. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, uh, What? I, I, no, no, I tried. I tried. I couldn't get one. I couldn't get one. I was trying to think of, to oh, think good of an jab. STD joke or something, but thankfully get. not. <laughs> I only got chlamydia <laughs> once. Trying to think of an AIDS joke. I couldn't think of anything. Really, you couldn't think of an AIDS joke? No, not not that quickly. I would have to, yeah. Because <sighs> you would, said AIDS and my brain went Robert Reed. <laughs> uh, no, not for you. I wouldn't need one for you. No, no fun <laughs> anyway. in that then. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the next. <sighs> All right. So my next one, and this is a terrible one. This might be, you know what? Looking down this list. I, I would say this is the most terrible one for me, but looking down the list, there are terrible ones all over this thing. Oh, they're, they're right. everywhere. So first off, I had to do the radio edit for this because there is a part in the beginning and a part at the end of the song that don't need to be there. Uh, this is Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba. Yep. And it might be one of the worst songs ever made. It is. I think these guys are Scottish as well. Or are they Irish? British. They're British and British. British anarchists. What makes them anarchists? No, they they self claimed. Oh, is that what? What is Tub Jumbo Wumba was a British anarchist punk band formed in 1982 and disbanded in 2012. I am not. I am not taking these on as punk as a punk band. This is not unless they wrote this song specifically to be a hit. This is not a punk band. I refuse. What are you doing? Are you having a stroke? I'm What's looking, going on? I'm looking at all the... Yeah, I feel like it. Watch, I'm looking fuck? at this shit. <laughs> Gender confusion. Yeah, these are just fucking dicks. Yeah. But uh, this song was everywhere. And you couldn't get away from it. No, you could not. And it's terrible. Um, it is so they terrible. They disbanded in 2012. This song's that- from... Seven. What were they doing from eighty two to ninety six, and then from ninety eight on? This song's from ninety seven. It's that old. Yeah. Holy crap. Um. Wow. All right. Interesting. Um. What the fuck was I gonna say? Fuck. I forgot what I was gonna tell you about this. Oh, now I know what it is. My wife hates this song so bad that her brother calls her up and plays this just to annoy her. She'll leave the room. If, if she knew, if she listened to this and, and she put this list on, she would probably throw her phone across the room. She hates this song so bad. It's her, it's her uh, slam bamboo. Yes. Oh, terrible. Terrible. But uh, yeah, what else you got on Trumbo One but a fat boy? Oh, no, they fucking suck. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> At some point, they. Oh, I did, obviously, because I said it. <laughs> Uh, at some point, they encourage people to steal their music. Okay, because they didn't want to. Pe- this is what led the the uh, anarchist thing. Like they didn't want to give the record companies money. Yeah, damn the man. They encourage people to steal their music. Nah. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't worry. Nobody Rebel. wanted it to begin with, let alone steal it. Rebels, rebels. By the way, this is worse. Is I'm like, I'm like, dude. I'm like, I, I put a little too much, too many of those. I, you never get the little Stokes. You know I, I've are? seen them. I've used them. They don't do anything to me. Well, I put like two or three of them in this coffee, and mm-hmm. I'm like, "Woo!" <laughs> Ay. Fucking terrible. That's why things that's are just flying off. Things are just flying. That's why I said "fat boy" before because it was just in my head. And it just came out. It's because I'm fat. I know <laughs> why you said it. You have eyes, <laughs> and you're looking right the fuck at me. Get a little fit, so. Oh, that's a great, that's the greatest show ever made. <sighs> so good. All right. Yeah. yeah so Chumbo One was sucked a bag of dicks. Yeah. Yeah. One hit. Um, not sure that they had another. My cat looks 
dead on the on the bed over there. I just want to let you know. She's like hanging off the bed, all four of her legs and her head. She's on the corner of the bed. Lily. Nothing. Throw something at her. Oh, no, no. Oh, she's having a dream. Her little paws are going like this. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, Let's go yes. to the next one. Help and this is right. where I'm going to get hate from oh, at least you two are people. Because uh, you are. And, and I, by me, too. Because I met you a, and Mike. This is The Middle by Jimmy Eat World off of their album Bleed American. Uh, mm-hmm. This is actually a very good song. I don't like it. Like, it's all right. Did it, and, and it's a very positive, it's a very positive song. Have okay, you HIV positive. Yes, I noticed. <sighs> <That's> <laughs> the AIDS joke. That's how you get an AIDS joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, man. Did you listen? It, it's, I did it's, listen. So we both don't have daughters, but it's very uplifting. It's very uplifting. I've uplifted to, plenty of daughters. To, <sighs> Jesus Christ, Dave. Uh, yeah, it derailed me. Holy shit! But it's basically I derailed telling, a lot of daughters too. Let's, I got him. See, you've never talked to me after a full night's sleep. I feel like a good full night's sleep. You've never actually sat with me and yeah, talked. You had a good bad. night's sleep. You had a good night's sleep last night. I did. Did you? Last night, I felt like I was gonna die. I, 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 uh, yeah, I was, my body was aching. My head hurt. I had to sleep on that. I slept hard last night. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I feel, I feel good today. I feel great. I think it was a combination of, I had a huge dinner mm. and it wasn't late in the day. I had enough time to process and have a good time. We watched, you know, I did the edit. I did the upload. I, we watched, um, X-Men 97 and then we watched a movie, and then it was just like, all right, it's time to go to sleep. And I went to bed like a normal human. <laughs> what, uh, I didn't have to wait watch? for my brain to power down. What movie did you watch? You're not going to like it. It was the Marvels. Oh, why would I like it? I haven't seen but, it. Because every, everyone shits all over this movie like it's fucking, you know, an Uwe Boll movie. Yeah. It was not bad. I, it I'm, wasn't great. Right. But as far as... as Mar- as Marvel movies go, it was not amazing. Right. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the Eternals. I didn't see that one either. It's that was bad. That is the worst Marvel movie. Yeah. Hands down. Mm. You know, it's the most star studded and the probably the worst. Yeah, because they got too many stars. No, I, I, I have... honestly, it was just poorly written. And well, you got to look at the other ones. You know, you have your Robert Downey Jr.'s, right? And then you yes. have. Then you have your guys who were not known when they first started. It was like Tom Hiddleston and uh, uh, what's his name? Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Yes. They were unknowns before these movies. So you got to get to play those guys. You have to get people who are not known. Otherwise, you're going to think of them. And I mean, this is not the reason why he didn't work, but Ed Norton as the Hulk. No, that was a creative. That well, was that creative was, differences and editing that, I, differences. I understand. I understand that, but at, at when they got Mark Ruffalo, although he was in movies before, he was relatively unknown to he a was, Marvel he crowd. Was, I would think. Oh, he was definitely lesser known to a Marvel crowd. Hiddleston right. and and Hemsworth and you Chris know, Evans. Even Chris, Chris Chris Evans was is in a few things. Yeah, well, but, he's been in multiple comic book movies too. But he always played a dick. Yeah, think of him when he was the, when he was the Human Torch. He was like the the cocky a, guy. Which the uh, Human Torch when, is a cocky douche. When he was in Scott Pilgrim, he was an asshole. You know. Yep. Uh, so for him to play Captain America, the you know, wait a second, who did he uh, play in in Scott Pilgrim versus the World? He was uh, in. I'm not fucking with you. What was his name? Lucas Lee. Remember. Lucas Lee. Yeah. Uh, I, my brain picks up weird shit and sticks with it. Um, yeah. He was also in The Losers, which is based off a comic book. I don't remember that. It's an action movie. Uh, yeah. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, uh, Zoe Saldana. It's not bad. It just wasn't yeah. great. Hmm. I, I would recommend, uh, if you can find it online, giving it a watch. <laughs> uh, what was all right, so. Say? 
I don't know. Oh yeah, it was it wasn't a bad movie. It really wasn't. Uh -huh. But it wasn't a great movie either. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> same thing with the same I, thing I, with I this with this song. Meh. Yeah. You put it on here. You said terrible I said terrible one hit wonders and you It's it's terrible to me. There. It's yeah, but you know. Because it was in every movie for like an entire summer. That is true. It was the it was the and every summer uh, after that for like six years. Yeah. It definitely was. You're right. All right. So that did ruin it for me. So let's move on to my next one because I know I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the name and then I'm gonna wait for you to uh eviscerate okay. it. Okay. So my next one is Everything About You by Ugly Kid Joe. Yeah. All for the all for the album as ugly as they wanna be. Which is a parody of I don't know. Two Life Crew, as nasty as they want to be. Oh yeah, okay. All right. That's pretty funny. Okay. Go ahead. I love this song. Shut up. I absolutely really? love this song. I don't know right. why. This is right up there with uh, with uh, Lumberjack by Jackal. Oh, God. That's just a terrible song. It's fucking terrible with a chainsaw solo. Yes. What the hell is <laughs> like, wrong with you? You enjoy. I have just. I like wormed and I like this. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Wormed. Ay, ay, ay. So, um. I don't know if you know this, but um, when I would say about about 99 or so, uh, uh, Life of Agony uh, parted ways with their singer, because I don't know what to call them now. Back then, Mina. they were Keith. Back then, Mina. they were Keith. Okay. Yes, but... So they, they, uh, they parted ways. It is now it so we mean Is that it. what it does? All right. Uh, so... Is that what it does? <laughs> I mean, I mean, is that how it works? I, it sh it should be because um, referring to the previous name in casual conversation is called dead naming. It's kind of rude. Right. Uh, it's a little more sensitive to just refer to them to refer to a person as they want to be referred to. So okay. Mina, so left life of ag agony or was kicked I out? Think, no, I think I think uh, booted out. And uh, the singer for Ugly Kid Joe, uh, uh, sang for them for a while. Okay, that's an interesting choice. You didn't know? No. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think they did an album together. I definitely did. If I remember How correctly. How can I see forget the... this? How can I huh? forget this guy's name? What's his name? Whitfield Crane the Fourth. <laughs> his full name is William Whitfield Crane the Fourth. Uh -huh. He called himself Whitfield Crane. All right. That makes sense. That's, you know, it's like shifty gel shock or whatever. <laughs> Shifty shit, ha shit hands. Yeah, whatever the fuck his name was. Um, but yeah, sang with Life of Agony for, I want to say, a year or two. Okay. And and uh, don't think they ever recorded an album. It really never worked because it was not Mina. It was not. It was not Life of Agony. Yes. Uh, then then Life of Agony. I think after the experiment with Whitfield. Crane or whatever the hell is Ichabod Crane. Yeah, Whitfield uh, Crane. <laughs> um, they broke up for a while, and then in ninety, no, in two thousand four, they got back together again. And I remember me and Keith went to see them. Was it at Roseland somewhere? And it was amazing. And then you thought that that was it, but now they are still together to this day, twenty years later after they got back together, still oh, making yeah. albums. Um, still playing shows, and uh, you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm good, good for them. Yeah, no, it's great that they're still going. But uh, Ugly Kid Joe, I love that we we mention the name and then we go off on something completely different on every one of these songs. <laughs> well, that was only slightly off because Whiffle Crane did join Life of Agony for a bit. Yes, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, the Marvels talking about fucking <laughs> what was in the, the middle. Last one? The middle in the middle. <laughs> That's right. Uh, in the middle. It's just called the middle. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not even talking today. It's making me very uncomfortable. I don't know. I think that's my new thing is making you as awkward as possible. And it's not very hard. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. I'm, here's my thing is I don't want dead space where we're just like. Yeah, that made it better. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes me very uncomfortable. So, 
I, uh, I try to f*** up, and you don't you help me. I, I'm not just, is it my job to help you? Yes. So let's talk about something. I guess I'm going to have a lot to say on this one. Mm. The song Blind Melon by Blind Melon from the album Blind Melon. <laughs> this song might as well be called Blind Melon because it's, yeah. it's the only, they did have another hit. What um, was it called? Uh, I can hear the melody in my head. Exactly. Something, something, something of home, something from home. Um. Anyway, this is No Rain by Blind Melon, and you are a terrible person by putting this on a one-hit wonder because the only reason why it was one hit, one hit was because the man died. Um, I'm glad he's dead. Di, 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 di. I don't give a fuck. Wow, that was a terrible, terrible take on this. Fuck Shannon Hoon. You can go suck a dick in hell. That's another name, Shannon Hoon. Oh, man, um, what was the other guy's name? I don't know. Who's what the singer for name? Sublime? Uh, Noel, Ga- Noel Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Noel. Yeah, I hope he. I hope there's 69 and in hell. Fuck them <laughs> <Yeah>. both. <laughs> Fucking junkie Noel, pieces Noel Gallagher of shit. dies too. I hope I hope <laughs> Nolan Liam are fucking butt fucking each other in hell too. I know they're, they're both still dead. alive. They're not dead. I, I know they're both still alive. Fuck them anyway. <laughs> fucking angry Irish pieces of shit. Man, we have a very uh, Great Britain uh, centric today. A lot of one hit wonders came out of Europe. I guess so. Except so is, for is it, Oasis, it, who had many many hits. Oasis had two. Two? That's it? Did I... two. All right, so the two hit wonders. I thought they had a lot more songs. They had a lot more songs, but they only had two hits. All right, I'm going to look up this other fucking Shannon Hoon song. Because uh, I, looked, I looked up songs, and it came... It was that and change. Hits. Is that it? It might one be. So, one soul, uh, soul One, Tones of Home, Toes Across the Floor. Oh, tones of Home. What is that one? Tones. Of, it? It's a garbage song. I don't know, fucking know. Yes, that's the, that's the song. That's the second oh, hit I, I thought of. Tones yes. of home. You've fucking heard it if you listen to it. You've heard it. Rictus of a death knell. What? It's the sound somebody makes when they're dying. Fuck them. A rictus. The rictus. The uh, of a death knell. The, the the scream that somebody makes when they die. That's called a rictus. No, rictus is the uh, that's stiffening. Oh. The medical is rigor. Rigor. Yeah. Rigor mortis. Yeah, you know that that can happen while you're alive too, right? It can. Yeah, mortis is death, but you can have yeah. it when you're alive too. Oh, so terrifying. Rigor. Rigor alivus? No. <laughs> they just call it rigor. And we're saying that too close together, and it's starting to sound like another word, and I don't want to be involved in that. You are a terrible human being for thinking that. Why is that popping terrible. in your head? It's not. I just don't want to it's sound not. like it is popping in my head. I don't want it to sound like it's in my head or heart or hands. That's a terrible word, mouth. and I don't like it. Or out of your mouth. Keep that name out of your mouth. Yeah, it's definitely one I want to keep out of my mouth. I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did see a, a stand up with oh that word, and I was, I was laughing very hard. The guy's Listen. like, imagine, it, you know, Spider Man. Spider Man's not really tough because, but imagine Miles Morales, Spider Man, freely using the N word. Yeah, those are good. It'd be funny. It would be very funny. Movies. Have you seen the Beyond the Beyond the Spider Verse movies? I have not. I've seen. I saw the first one. I did not see the second. Second one is amazing. Can't it's on our we, it's on our list. We see them we see them in the movie theater. It's great. Those are good. Those are good watching the movie theater movies. Oh, they have to be with the giant screen and the, you know, yeah. the amazing sound system. We try to we try to uh every time a, a kids movie comes out that my kids want to see obviously. We try to see it in the theater and uh imagine I was taking them to movies that they don't want to see. Well, no, no, what I'm saying is I, I would like to do it more often, but Sometimes things come out and I ask them and they're like, nah, I'm like, all right. Um, but there's certain like, like the Spider-Verse movies we'll go see. All those, uh, cart- the, the uh, Mario Brothers was great to see in the movie theater. Oh, that was amazing. Um, what else did we, we I love just when saw, someone's oh, like, oh, I don't want to see that. Well, you're stupid. I don't know what to tell right. you. Plus, those are the people with no kids. Here's the thing. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you when I, when I read the internet, how many people have, you know, how, how terrible this next generation is. 
and all of them have no kids. It's like, shut up. You don't know the next generation. You're an old man. You have become what we hated growing up. You're the old person now going, get off my lawn because you have no kids. My kids, your kid. Hold on. Are you okay? Oh, I'll get it in a minute. No, uh, Jenny was just telling me something. Yeah. What? She told me to tell you to go fuck yourself. I believe it. But man, you you broke right into my rant here. Sorry. Yeah, it was it was on fucking it was on the kids today. Go fuck yourself. You're old as yeah. shit. We're old as shit. No, but no, but I'm. I don't I'm want these fucking defending. stupid people breeding anyway. I'm the yeah. You're right. I'm defending. I'm defending our kids. Your kids very. You, you're bringing your kids up right. I, I'm bringing my kids up right. You know. And I we're still doing kids. it all wrong. You have, you have kid uh, that we know about. <laughs> What are you fucking pinky? There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of monikers, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. Uh so that was my that's my my public service announcement. Shut up if you have no kids, all right? Yeah. And fuck um, Shannon Hoon. Yeah, that too, I guess. Uh where's he buried? I don't know. I'm actually gonna look it up. I I'm, I'm guessing Seattle. He was part of that crew. Oh, he was from. Uh, he was from Indiana. He was, but where was the band from? Who fucking cares? There, to Shannon Hoon's grave, <laughs> Dayton Cemetery, Indiana. I know where I'm going to pee next. Oh, huh. you're gonna take a fucking. I really? will piss on somebody's grave randomly. I don't really. Yeah. Well, not randomly. I'll pick somebody I don't like and go there. <laughs> randomly. Hello, Bob Smith. I'm pissing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Enjoy this. <laughs> I'm going to kill the grass on your plot. <laughs> anyway, let's move to the next one, which we all know and love. Speaking uh, of people, I would, I would piss on their grave whether they were alive I, or dead. Um, this uh, I picked only because, and I don't know if this is true or not. It used to play here on like uh, K Rock and stuff like that. It's a uh, Mother by Danzig off of the album yep. Danzig. Which we all call uh, Danzig 1 because he couldn't fucking stop. Right. It Danzig 2, <sighs> Danzig 3, uh, 4. Um, I, yeah, I stopped at the 3. Uh, so I, I don't know if you would call this a hit. I'm guessing no. it, it's his most popular song. Uh, yeah, because if you asked anybody to, to uh, name a Danzig song, it would be this one. Um, I enjoy a lot of what Danzig does. I just don't like him as a person. Okay, here we go. Go ahead. So we were joking, you know, Danzig one, two, three. Right. He stopped putting the name Danzig in the title of the album after Danzig five. <laughs> black, black acid. Uh, well, it's black acid evil, but he, the, most people call it black acid devil. I, I thought you were going to call it black asses. <laughs> I would get an album called black asses. <laughs> So his next album after that was 666 Satan's Child. Oh boy, really, really, really fucking uh original. I'm not done. Not done. Yeah, that... Then it was 777 I Lucifery. Oh, my God. And then 888 Circle of Snakes. No, I'm just kidding. Come Circle on. of Snakes. I'm kidding. Just Circle it of Snakes. It was 888. Thank you. Okay. No. Black Aria 2 and then Who Killed Marilyn was an EP released this year. Uh last year. He's still making music, huh? Yeah, not none of it good. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna listen to the latest one. Who killed Marilyn? After this, Ugh. I just want to hear it. I, I've ne I've, I didn't even know Danzig was still making music. He's about a thousand years old and looks it. He, uh, I think it was Portlandia. He played a Romanian guy who looked like a vampire. He was to talking about dressing for the weather in Portlandia. Really? I, yeah. He has a sense of humor. No. <laughs> Danny from Northside Kings just knocked him the fuck out. Yes, that I remember. So great. <laughs> Fucking death threats. Who give death threats over getting punching out Danzig? Should have gotten flowers from threats. Jerry Only. What? He should have gotten flowers from Jerry Only for uh -oh. knocking Danzig out. <laughs> I thought you said Jerry Only sent him flowers. I no. Wow. That's going to be awkward when they, when they got the fucking misfits back together. You know, I forgot these existed. What's that? <sighs> Danzig sings Elvis. You always bring those up. I thought you were just blocking those. I forgot. I forgot. Mentally about it. repressing them. 
plucking him out like a sexual assault. Yeah. You know what's funny? You really have to go digging to find it, too. What have, are you shaking or are you, you swirling the cup? <laughs> I'm swirling the cup and laughing because you said... <laughs> say that line again about the essay. <laughs> oh, blocked it out like sexual assault? Yeah, kind of like those girls in the Mambo number five list. See, that was a better callback. <laughs> Still not a good age joke. The no, test I'm results are. Huh? <laughs> what did you say? Results are? <laughs> the, te the test results are. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were bringing up a big reference. I was like, what? No. Oh, man. Was that Zoltar? I, Zoltan? One of the two. I am looking at the, at the Danzig Sings Elvis, and it's yeah. so bad. He didn't pick any of the big songs, except yeah. for Always On My Mind, which I believe is a Willie Nelson song originally. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh. It's fucking terrible. He doesn't sound like Elvis. Even though he wants to. He never did. He definitely wants to. It's fucking terrible. So. Why was he so uh, obsessed with shitty? Elvis? Shitty? Just, just on... Um it was just a thing he did. He ordered. He really thought he sounded like Elvis, or I don't know. Some drunken asshole said, "You sound like Elvis," and he believed it, and he ran with it. You know uh, what else ran? His fucking hairline. <laughs> Oof! Yes. Bah, right back here. <laughs> Seven head. <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's go to your next one. We haven't been even saying who these are, who's, who's, who's picks these are, but this one is yours. Yeah, you, th you can figure it out. Uh, we alternate. We always yeah. alternate. Yes. Uh, so, last, my last one. Go ahead. Is yeah, Last can. Resort by Papa Roach from the album Infest. Yes. Which I saw as incest. <laughs> Just how my you brain works. You got excited? I, I saw it, I'm like, yeah, it figures this guy would write <laughs> an album called Incest. Um... Now, uh, again, uh, these are technically not a one-hit wonder. They did have Broken Home, uh, which was another hit of theirs. Wait, you know more than one Papa Roach song, consensually? 100% I do, yes. Yet you don't know the interesting fact about this guy's stupid name? No. What's his name? So, when the first album came out, he was referring to himself as Kobe Dick. Okay. Like Moby Dick, but yes, Kobe. But okay. the problem is, his name is Jacoby Shaddix. <laughs> All right, and just both, both. I don't know why they didn't want to use Jacoby or Shaddix, but yeah. he refused. But both names are in there. He just shortened his first name and shortened his last name. Yeah, douche level. Yeah, Kobe Dicks. I would rather I'd rather be named Dick Hurts. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Last Resort. What year is this? 1997? 96? Oh, now you got me. Let's see. It's got to be around there. It's this whole, it's, it's that whole uh, rap rock thing. See, that's the problem. I clicked on it and it's giving me overall, they were signed to DreamWorks in 99. 99? First release. Yeah, they were signed in 99, but I don't want to, I don't want to hit play because then it's going to show up in the recommendations. It was, Are you telling it was released in 2000. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. All right. 2000 makes sense. Fucking terrible. I thought you were going to tell me like, you know, 2004 when I was already fucking, you know. Dudes. I, I have, I, I, I have uh, 2001 for many reasons is like the reset of my life because I got my real job. 9-11 you know it's like a lot of 2001 was a big year for me uh so if you told me that this came out after 2001 i would have been like no way dude yeah no. but 2000 makes sense it's it's right on the cusp there okay it's right on the edge of shitty and it was awful yeah my nose God, is fucking just... running and i don't know why i because the pollen count is ridiculous <clears throat> it is yes, awful out yeah I'm talking. Yeah, this man sucks it. a bag of balls. Oh, all right. Sorry. I didn't mean to fucking get in your way there. No, not uh, at all. He leaky nose motherfucker. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to the last one so that we can uh, finally talk about many, the, the lyingest album as title. We can. Yeah. So my <laughs> the lyingest album. Here we go. You ready? 
Yeah, I'm, Dan, I'm as ready you, as I'm going to be. You, you have a week. You have, I'm going to put a little pause in front of this. You have a week to find a drum roll. I got it. I already have a drum roll here. The somewhere. last, the last <laughs> song that I have picked is Informer by Snow on the album 12 Inches of Snow. This lying Canadian white piece of shit. I, I love that we both realized what the name today. of the album was today. I did just before the show and you did just as, as it started. And I oh, looked God. at that. I looked at that today and I went, you son of a bitch. First off, let's let's in case you don't know, Snow is a white male from Toronto yep. who sings in a Jamaican accent. If there is not ever uh, any, uh, I don't even know how to say this. Cultural yeah, appropriation. Tell. That's that's all I'm going to say. It's cultural appropriation. This is it before was, all that took place. Uh, and this is the this, worst example of it. This was worse than Vanilla Ice. I'll say yeah, at least at least Vanilla Ice. Uh, he stuck you know, he with lied it. about being. He lied about being from Miami. Yeah. This this man is Canadian, and 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 sings in a Jamaican accent. Oh, it's terrible! Absolutely awful. <laughs> and then, Painful. and then names, <laughs> and then basically says that he has a twelve incher in the fucking well, title. I believe back then it would have been a record, and a record is twelve inches. Uh, oh, okay. Which is, is a it? clever joke, but right. you're a white guy from Toronto. No, right. it isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice play you're on words. White you're a white rapper from Tor Toronto. Now, on the other side of this, you have two actual other artists that have been more famous. You have Robert Van Winkle, Vanilla Ice, mm -hmm. on one end, and you have Eminem on the other side. Right, well, but Eminem was the real deal. No, but <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You have literally both ends of the spectrum. You have mm. Vanilla Ice being as cheesy as whatever, whatever that shit was. Right. And Snow on the same side as that. And then you have Eminem on the other side, who's a legitimate rapper who people are, like other rappers are afraid of getting right. into shit with because he literally does not hold back. Right. <laughs> and can actually can actually do what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But not Snow. No, not at all. <laughs> I, no. I, I, I got to do it. I'm clicking on it. I'm pausing what? it. I got to look at the lyrics. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Mm -mm, I'm not reading a single goddamn one of these. I'm not Why? reading a goddamn second of this. Why? Mm -mm, I nope. know there's one thing where he says that it, black people are the only thing he knows or something like that. I, I, mm -mm. Why is it just terrible? Uh, why, why? Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. There's a lot of daddies in here. Daddies. Did he call himself Daddy Snow? A, a pure black people, man. That's all I know. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> People. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh God. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of lot of lot of shortened words in here that uh you can tell he used specifically to sound like somebody else, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God, it's so bad. <laughs> I want to show I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these lyrics to work and show them to a Jamaican person, have them translate. All right, good. If they can't, I'm gonna go to Canada and I'm gonna find this motherfucker and stab him. <laughs> I uh, this song actually was uh, very big in our uh, in our friend group back then. Uh, Angelo uh, showed us. You never met Angelo, I don't think, Dave. No, I have not met Angelo. I don't know uh, who Angelo is, is or why I should hate them. No, that, no, you shouldn't hate them. They're still friends with me. Stop it. But he he was he was the introduction to a lot of. Um, Hip hop and 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 popular stuff back then when I was not into it. So this was one of the songs that he always put on uh, in his I Rock and his Eclipse uh, <laughs> back then. I don't even know what to say. I know. Shit. I know. I, Angelo, Angelo, an Italian from Queens. I guarantee it. Greek. From Queens, Greek and a Greek Angelo. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, in from an Iraq uh, Z. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was. He is originally from uh, Hicksville, I believe. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I love Angelo. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him in about a year, but I love. I love Angelo. Well, cheers to Angelo. 
but I yeah. still hate him for, for introducing <laughs> you to this. Fucking terrible. <laughs> this should never have been propagated. Awful. Uh, and you should but, quite uh, frankly be embarrassed for having it. What? Me? Yeah, just for knowing this. Why? It, it, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it brings back terrible. nostalgia. I don't, I don't dislike it. It's bringing back my breakfast. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Fucking terrible. And with that, the list is complete. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these songs suck a whole bag of dicks. <laughs> uh, all right. So, listen. Next list is mine again. Are we doing my list? You have to send me your... Uh... I have to finish sending that one, and then I have another one ready to go, I think. Good. <laughs> I like surprise lists. You're going to send me a surprise list. I should. Uh, um, yeah. I don't think uh, I got I got much else to say. The day is early. It's fucking before eleven o'clock, and we are done with an episode. Yeah, I it's a miracle. Don't know what to do with my life. I'm gonna. Well, I have to still go over our list of friends. Oh yes, you do have to still make the list. Otherwise, Mike's gonna yell at you. He told yeah. me he he. I talked to him this morning, and he's he was like, "I'm not yelling at you." I'm like, "Dude, I just like saying that you like are trying to keep us in line." Sometimes it's all caps. <laughs> don't don't it pretend. Makes... <laughs> it makes you sound like a dictator and I enjoy people thinking that Mike's like what the fuck are you guys doing you're all you said wrong dictator, my, my brain immediately went to Mike Tyson jokes <laughs> not, not dictator dictate <laughs> she said my dictate like jelly <sighs> fucking terrible uh, oh you see my new shirt yeah Iron Maiden shirt only life after death lot, live after death what am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing a tarot card shirt. A tarot mm. card shirt? Yeah. Why? You believe in that shit? You have to think yes. about it? Yes. You do? No, you, I'm, you believe in, I'm incredulous. You, you believe in astrology and shit like that? Uh, n not so much astrology, just there's, there's something behind the veil. That's the best way to put it. All right. I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, we should be, you know, reading fortunes with tea leaves and shit, but... There's definitely an interpretation of tarot cards that can affect your life and any way you see fit. All right. Remember, there's somebody dealing the cards at all times and it is random, so it is open to interpretation, like cold reading. Mm -hmm. You know what cold right. reading is? No. Cold reading is what uh, fake psychics do. Okay. Oh, right. that, yeah, okay. I sense you know, your, your Jonathan, what was it, Jonathan Edwards? Yeah, I think his name, yeah. And Ter was Teresa Caputo? Yeah, I saw her on uh, Prince and Mercer one time. Yeah, big hair. Yeah. Small brain. Fucking That's asshole. I, I noticed her. She yeah, those are, those are the okay. carnival acts. Yes. Miss Cleo. Yes. Oh, God. Call not me even, now. Not even, not even West Indian. No. Her name was Terrible. like Joyce Abrams or something. <laughs> Apologies to Joyce Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if that was really her name. All right, so let's go over our friends. Oh boy, you go. Go. Luigi Gennaro. We got Luigi Gennaro voiceover. Teleraj on Instagram and on, I believe, Spotify. No. Uh, what's the other? Uh, oh man, what's the name of the the, the site they use? Uh, I can't remember. SoundCloud. SoundCloud? No? Definitely not SoundCloud. Oh, then I got nothing. Oh, fuck it. Look it up again. Radio Free Tibet. Tiny Cyclones, and The Weege. Those are his current projects. I don't know which ones are in and out at the moment, but he's definitely working. I know he just recently played a show with Teleraj in New Rochelle, mm -hmm. which I was unfortunately not able to go to because I was working. Uh, next, we have Unworked Apparel. Unworked Apparel on... Uh, we have Unworked on Instagram and Unworked Apparel on Facebook. Uh, you can catch John if you need t-shirt designs. He's great. He will help you. Um, he's got a great shop. He does, he does his work fast too. Uh, Leo Mate, uh, Desolate, uh, which is Instagram, Desolate New York City, or Desolate NYC, and Over the Top Band, Over the Top Band. Easy. Mm -hmm. Look them up. Uh, they are also, oh man, my brain keeps going CD baby. It's definitely not CD baby. We're past those days. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot the name of the, the, the site they use. I'll remember it somewhere down the line. Justin Wang, 
uh, Instagram.com, Justin Wang YT, W H A N G Y T. And then YouTube.com slash Wang Wang Wang, all W H A N G. And we have Mike Pacheco, uh, Spotify. You can look him up under Michael Pacheco, P A C H E C O. And his album 10 is up there, available for streaming right now. Roxy Joe's Acyst, A E C Y S T. If you search A-E-C-Y-S-T on Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, you will find him. Guaranteed. And that's the list for now. Oh, we also have Follow the Albatross, which I have to add to this list. Uh, You can find them on Instagram and YouTube and I believe Spotify as well. They are awesome. They are progressive. They are math, math mathy, confusing, progressive, Spanish music. It's everything. It's crazy. And that's it. Cool. So that's the list. Those are our friends. And for now, I am Basher.exe. I am Nugs29. We have hit the stage podcast.com. We have Mike and Dave hit the stage on YouTube. We have hit the stage podcast on Instagram. And I have to get the exact link for Discord, but we are on Discord as well. Yes. Uh, we have a small but growing group of weirdos that are all interacting. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be posting memes left uh, and right. Uh, also oh, of uh, my left and right. <laughs> 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 so for now, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Hail Halford. Hail Halford. Later, guys. 